It is a new month, so that means it's time for us to go book shopping. We haven't been to our local Barnes & Noble in a while, so we want to stop there. We want to check it out, see what they have. And every time we go there, we have to stop at Half Price Books as well because it is right across the street. We're not looking for anything specific, so we're just going to see what new books they have out and see if anything catches our eye. Before we head out, we do want to take a second to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. You guys know aside from reading and book shopping, making YouTube videos is something we really love to doing and we have wanted to learn how to make our content better, how to reach a larger audience and with Skillshare it's been so easy to learn. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry experts on things like film, marketing, design, productivity and more. Skillshare can really help you take your career, passion, skills, hobbies to the next level. When you do join they ask if you're taking classes for fun or for business. There's a whole bunch of options. They have classes on things like how to read faster, how to better your reading comprehension. They even have classes on writing if you're trying to self-publish, how to market your book, how to make book cover designs, and so much more. The opportunities are endless. We have been focusing on the YouTube and productivity classes. We've been wanting to improve and elevate our thumbnails so we are learning how to make them on Adobe Photoshop. The way the lessons are set up is super helpful and they make it easy to take the classes at your own pace. You're able to take whatever you've learned and create your own projects to earn certificates and we've been having so much fun with it. Now that it's summer with school breaks and slower work schedules, a lot of us find ourselves with more time on our hands to explore different passions and hobbies. So it's really the perfect time to start if you're interested in joining. The first 500 people who use our link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. This is a great opportunity to learn a new skill or hobby for the summer. We have learning how to crochet on our summer bucket list, so we will be taking classes for that. If you guys are interested, let us know what classes you end up taking. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go book shopping.
just got done shopping. We ended up stopping at Goodwill as well because it's also in the area and we can't help ourselves. But I think we found some pretty good stuff. We got a couple things. So first at Barnes & Noble, I did get Hello Stranger by Catherine Center. I've been wanting to read another Catherine Center book ever since I've read The Bodyguard by this author. Love isn't blind, it's just a little blurry. Sadie never saw what was coming, literally. One minute she's celebrating the biggest achievement of her life, the next she's lying in a hospital bed diagnosed with a probably temporary condition. She can see, but every face she looks at is now a jumbled puzzle of disconnected features. Imagine trying to read a book upside down in, in another language. This is Sadie's new reality with every face she sees. She ends up falling in love, or less, a temporary obsession to distract her from the real life problem. With not one, but two very different men, the timing couldn't be worse. She's gonna confuse these men up. Interesting. <laughs> this is gonna be unlike anything that I've read before, so I can't wait for this. Another one we found is Misfit by Elle Kennedy. You guys know we love her writing. We read the Off Campus and Briar U series. She also has Girl Abroad, that newer book that I know is getting an adaptation. I was debating between that one or this one, but I think I want to read her books kind of like in order. This one came out first. It says, Welcome to Sandover Prep, where the delinquents roam and you can't trust a soul. Finding out your mom is marrying some rich guy you've never met is enough to make any 18 year old's head spin. And for RJ, it gets worse. He's being sent to Sandover Prep for senior year. There's no point in trying to get along with anyone that is until he meets Salone in the woods on the outskirts of campus. Gorgeous, sharp tongued, Salone is a pure temptation, except Salone is the one girl he's forbidden from touching the headmaster's daughter. That's cute. <laughs> so I also got The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. I haven't really read any classics, and every time we go to Barnes and Noble, this one always gets my attention. And this time they had this author's new book and it was so beautiful, but I have to read this one first. It seems like a really small classic too, so we'll see if I like that. Hopefully I do, and then I'll keep reading books in that genre. While we were at Half Price Books, we had to go into the clearance section, and we found two copies, a hardcover and paperback, of Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls by Lynn Wingarden. You guys know I keep talking about this book. It's like one of my more recent favorite YA mysteries, and I only had the paperback. And they had hardcover, so I had to get it for my collection. I really love this story. I'm excited for Amanda to read it. You guys, we got cut off. The camera died, so we charged it while we were on the way back home. We're gonna continue on now. We were talking about this book. I'm so excited to have the hardcover. The paperback was $2 there. I've been excited to read this ever since you've been talking about it. The fact that both of these were there, it just seems meant to be, honestly. And then we stopped at Goodwill. and got a whole bag full of books. They had some pretty good ones. We found The Overdue Life of Amy Byler by Kelly Harms, and this looks so cute. There's books on the cover of a book. You gotta get it. It says Amy is overworked and underappreciated. She's a single mom and needs a break. So when the guilt-ridden husband who abandoned her shows up and offers to take care of their kids for the summer, she accepts his offer and escapes rural Pennsylvania for New York City. No, I would not let him have a kid. She discovers a life filled with culture, sophistication, and with a little encouragement from her friends, a few blind dates. When one man in particular makes a quick work of Amy's heart she risks losing herself completely in the unexpected escape and as the summer comes to an end she realizes too late that she must make an impossible decision stay in this exciting new chapter of her life or return to the life she left behind that's tough that's tough <laughs> this one might be a cute one though we had to get it so we also found Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins I don't even know what it's about though it says can Anna find love in the city of light Anna is happy in Atlanta she has a loyal best friend and a crush on her co-worker at the movie theater who is just starting to return her affection so she's less than thrilled when her father decides to send her to a boarding school in Paris for her senior year but despite not speaking a word of French Anna meets some cool new people including this handsome guy who quickly becomes her best friend unfortunately he's taken and Anna might be too will a year of romantic near misses and with a French kiss she's been waiting for you got a movie theater guy and the French man mm-hmm <laughs> we also found a copy of The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. Amanda really loved this series. I know Frida McFadden is really known for like really twisty books and fast paced reads. I didn't love the one book I read by her, but maybe I need to give her another chance. This one I know is super popular, so. I might like this one. And then the last book we found is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Another classic book for only $2. We couldn't leave it there. I know you've also been wanting to read this, so maybe we can pressure each other to read it. That is basically everything we bought today. Just a quick little shopping trip. We always love going book shopping. Let us know in the comments what books you've recently purchased. Also, a reminder to join our Literal Besties book club if you haven't already. That link will be in the description. This month we are reading this book, so make sure to join. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. We will see you guys next time. We 
did find a copy of The House Made by Frida McFadden. You guys know I don't like her. Okay, look at You always say that name weird. Sloan? Sloan? How do you say it? Sloan? Sloan. Sloan. <laughs> Doesn't matter. 